It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ford and Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Rams Head IPA coming in at 7.5% ABV. They're from Delaware in the USA. Let's look at the label. Here's the bottle cap. Here's the Rams Head. This one is a remarkable 75 IBUs. That's international bittering units to, to the, the, the newcomers to beer. We'll speak about that in a moment. Let's just get this beer out. Making a mess of that because it was a screw cap, look. In the UK, we well, we very rarely get screw caps. It's always kind of bottle up and the stuff. So um, that was the reason why we had a bit of a job getting that off. It makes a lot of sense, screw caps. Who needs a bottle opener when you can use your hand? So, beer in the glass. It's a lovely golden colour there. Look at that. Isn't that great? Lovely rushing carbonation to the top of the glass. It's a golden colour there. It's very clear. It's a one to two finger, slightly off white head. And that golden amber colour is absolutely marvellous. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK where you can order great beers from America, like this Canadian beer. They've got a little bit of Canadian beer, lots of German beer. I've been reviewing some marvellous German beer recently, all 99s on rate beer. Um, we've got some great Belgian beers to come um, shortly, so get some Belgian beer from rate beer. And generally, if you've been on holiday or if you've been working away and you've been trying different beers and you want to get them back in the UK, the best place to find them is beersofeurope.co.uk. So, on with the review. 75 IBUs. While I, while I gave my little bit of a, my kind of sponsor's message there, um, I, would, I was inhaling this lovely aroma of this IPA and it really is very pungent. Wow, lots and lots of grapefruit, lots and lots of pine. As you would expect from a 75 IBU beer, I promise you I will get to that in a moment. The IBUs, the international pitting units. I just start the review, I'll get going, and then we'll get into that later on. Yeah, so a lovely aroma. Lemon. Grapefruit galore. Nice level of sweetness coming through. Mangoes, apricots, kiwi fruits, you name it. Let's dive in. Cheers. <laughs> and pow! Quite literally, Stone the Crows. That beer is absolutely full on. It's like an American Mustang from the 1950s. It's just powering its way through on the palate. But what really gives this beer its life, apart from all the flavours which I'm going to go into now in a moment, is the fantastic carbonation and the fantastic mouthfeel of the beer. Basically what you're sitting on here is a beer that's quite likely medium mouthfeel, so it kind of sits on the palate and slides down slowly. It's not like a watery lager that kind of just flies down, is super refreshing. This beer is very refreshing, I'm not saying it's not, but what it does, it kind of sits on the palate and it slowly moves down. And what happens then is, it releases all them flavours, because it's not a rush job, it's not flying down. It's not a quick fly by night, or, you know, it, it, it's more of a, a sitting on the palate and it releases the beer onto the palate slowly and it's kind of, it's sitting there, it's not going anywhere. So all of them flavours in the beer, I'll get there in a minute, won't I? All of them flavours in the beer 
are then released on the palate, sat there, it's got grapefruit, mango, citrus, so it's set there. it's not going anywhere, it's kind of stuck there like, like crude oil. But the beer wouldn't be anything without that carbonation. That carbonation kind of lifts it on the tongue, it kind of springs it, moves it about the mouth, gives the beer plenty of life and, and sparkle. So, on to them flavours then. The bitterness is punishing, but it's not too much. I think 75 IBUs is probably pushing my palate to the absolute limit, if I'm honest. Any more than I don't think I would enjoy the beer. But being 75 IBUs and and being so prickly and, and so kind of nettly and grapefruity and mango and citrus and it just keeps coming. This beer keeps on pulling. That bitterness just goes and goes and goes. It's not going anywhere. And you've got to enjoy that. You've got to enjoy that bitterness. If you don't enjoy a really bitter beer or a bitter beer, don't bother trying this. It's not worth it. But if you love a good American IPA, a big, strong, punchy American IPA, then this one's for you. Believe it or not, this is my first beer from Fordham Brewing Company. I've had a couple of the Dominion beers, and I think they're kind of somehow connected, whether it's the same brewery or not. Uh, but under the Fordham name, this is the first beer I've had, and it's been worth the wait. It's a cracking beer, it really is. It's a lovely beer. Underneath all of that bitterness, that big sparkle, that big punchy, grapefruity, massive bitterness. To the younger palates, to the people who are kind of just getting into beer, they wouldn't find any of that malt, that sweet malt. But it's there. It's lurking. If you've got a big IPA in front of you now, search for the sweetness as well. Okay, think about the bitterness, that lovely big punch in bitterness, but also think about that sweetness, that balance, because balance is so important to beer. A beer is nothing without a little bit of balance. It can't always be like this. It needs to level up a little bit. And underneath all that, as I say, big punching bitterness, this beer has got a lovely kind of slow kind of sweetness going on. It's, it, it, it's difficult to find, but it's there. It's very early 2015. I'm going to be quite controversial here. Am I going to be quite controversial? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to be quite controversial here. I've had a few really good IPAs this year already. We are one month in exactly. It's February the 1st, 2015. So we've had a whole month of January 2015 to drink some beer. And I've drunk some really, really well-respected IPAs in that time. But if I'm honest, if I had to pick out of the best IPA so far this year, I'd probably go with this, with this one. This is a little fighter. This is a little beer This, this just punching above its weight. It's really, really good. A little bit of licorice because it's so powerful because it's punching so much you get so many different flavors there's so much going on I've not mentioned lemon peel yet or orange peel but that's all in the beer but before the review goes on too long and, and um, I tell you what I'll do for you experienced drinkers out there I will rate the beer I'll give it my score out of 10 and then if you want you can disappear and I'll explain the kind of IBUs, international bitter units, to the people who I've been promising, the, the, the kind of younger, maybe not the younger generation, or the newer kind of beer drinkers who are interested in craft beer. I will explain international bittering units 
in a moment after I rate it. This beer, Ram's Head IPA, 75 IBUs. For me, this aggressively hot beer gets a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer, it's excellent, try it. Thanks for watching. Uh, cheers to you, pardon me, cheers to you guys who are making a move. Who know about IBUs, but I will carry on now for the people who don't. Right, IBUs, International Bittering Unit. You have, say, a scale of 0 to 100. The maximum your palate can take is 100 bittering units. There. 100. The least it can take is obviously zero. So a very sweet malty beer will be down here somewhere. An American pale ale with a, a kind of a, or an amber ale will be around here somewhere where it's probably about 20 to 25 IBUs. There's a nice level of bitterness that comes through. It's nice and hoppy, but it's very sessionable. The brewer has not added too many hops because they want you to session the beer. Then you have an India Pale Ale, which is probably in the middle. And that, well, generally, that's when the fun starts. That's when people start thinking, right, okay, we're gonna bang in a load of hops. This is in that scale as well. So really, it can go from the middle, down there somewhere, anywhere right to the top. Your palate cannot take any more than 100 IPUs. Your palate will not take it. Your palate will not be able to understand anything, whether it's 101 to 1,000 to 10,000 IBUs. Your palate can only take up to 100. So this being 75, you can imagine it's three quarters, so it's down here somewhere. It's quite hoppy, it's quite bitter. I hope I've explained myself quite well. If not, well, buy a book. Um, <laughs> okay, this was Ram's Head IPA. Ram's Head IPA by Fordham Brewing Company. It's a very good beer, it's well worth trying. If you want to try something really hoppy, if you fancy trying something really hoppy and you've not tried something really hoppy, then try this, it's very good. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.